So now we're going to add our activity detail chat and at the same time we'll deal with the sidebar as well because what's going to go in these components we haven't actually added the functionality for. So this is going to be just pure JSX static information at the moment. So let's head back to VS Code and we'll start with the activity detail chat. And all we're going to put in here is pretty much just a copy of the semantic UI React comment component. And we're literally just going to paste in the equivalent of what's in here. But I do have a snippet for this. And what we can use for this one is s underscore 9.8.1 in this case. And this is going to bring in our fragments, our segments, and our comments. And let's just use the add all missing imports. And we got most of them, but we didn't get the comment. So let's bring in the comment for this as well. And that should be good. And if we just reformat, then this is fine. Like I say, it's incredibly verbose, this particular JSX, just to add the structure for our comments. And if we go and take a look at how this looks in our component, then we can see that we've got our chat along with a couple of comments and our form with the reply button as well. Obviously no functionality in here at the moment. And what we'll also do is the same for the sidebar. And I'll just head back to VS Code and we'll go to our activity detailed sidebar and we'll replace this content with s underscore 9.9.1. And once again, we'll just attempt to bring in all of the missing imports. And pretty good, but we missed the images. So let's just add this manually to the semantic UI React imports. And I'll just reformat. And we can see what this is, is just a segment for the header and then an attached segment, which is going to include a list of who is attending the activity. So nothing crazy, nothing different to what we've already been looking at. And if we go and take a look at how this looks on our component, we can see that the sort of functionality that we're going to be aiming for later on. We're going to have the name of the user that's attending the activity along with their image, a flag to say if they're the host, and also a following indicator to indicate if we're actually following that particular user. So this is the makeup of our activity detail page. We've got some functionality to add to this, but we can't add that functionality until it's available from our API. So we'll consider the activity detail page complete now. And what we'll take a look at next is just adjust our form as well and give that a bit of style. 